Hello guys, it's Mungai E. Welcome to the Mungai E show and of course with the number one online TV show. Na leo ni kwa hapa ni kuna one of the baddest, baddest, baddest gegeton artist amekuwa kwa industry. Now we all know uh, uki talk about gegeton kumekuwa na a lot of narratives zinaendelea. Kumekuwa na stories imeisha, pia wao wenyewe tumekuwa tukiona the separations. That's why nimeamua leo natafuta one and only gosh. Ukoje? Poa sana. Uko poa? Yeah, yeah. yeah. niko mm. The reason nimekutafuta is uh, we have a conversation. Unajua for the longest time sasa mm. kumekuwa na kumekuwa na narratives mob about Gengeton music. Mm. Eh, mara imeisha, mara nini? And the reason mm. I felt that you're the right person is because Ah uh, wewe ni msanii ambaye ulitoa Gengeton song ile ya kwanza wa bebe ika trend for a long period of time sure. uh, something that haijakuwa ki happen unajua muziki mm-hmm. wewe ina trend for a while then kidogo inapotea and mm-hmm. right now actually umeniambia ina trend kwa TikTok ya TZ yeah. yeah that's something that is very 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 unique Nikwele. bearing in mind that it's a song ilikuwa imetoka way before yeah. eh hey, gwash umekuaje nimekuwa po uh-huh. na pambana Uh. Uh, unajua sasa hii ni kujisukuma tu. Uh-huh. Uh, na hii situation ya corona unajua mambo yamekuwa ngumu. Mm. Uh, haswa kwa wasanii. Yeah. Unaona hakuwa na shows. Shows hii hata zimerudi. Amount pia imeteremka si venye mm. ungeitisha kitambo pesa mingi but tuna try ku cope up na the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, starting with this narrative. Yeah, yeah gengeton kuisha. How do you what's your take about that? I think wase wase huku sijui mbona watu wataki ku appreciate mm-hmm. kitu inafanywa na watu wenyu. Mm. Si tuna tuna try kuweka Kenya somewhere. Mm-hmm. Tuna try kuweka kwa map. So the moment tunasema ati gengeto nimeisha, hiyo ni kwa ni utiaji fulani I die. Mm-hmm. Inafa una support vitu zako na una unakubali una gengeto Kenya mtu anafai kuambia kwa una feel gengeto ni mbaya. Mm. Ambia mtu afanye vitu fulani fulani tuache tukue na content, unaona? Mm. Like si kuimbia. Unajua anasema ngati tunaimbia drugs, mm. tunaimbia madem, uh, unaona? Uh, yeah. So kama hizo ndio vitu zinafanya wase wa feel that gengeton aina content. Watu tu wanaweza ambio wanakochiwa juu. Ukiangalia si ni the young generation. Mm. Sisi watu watu wakubwa sana. Mm. So the moment unakuja una ni kama mtoto wako unamwambia eh hey, baba mm. usiingie kwa gari ya mtu uta utakidnapiwa mm. hivyo ndio pia unaambia tu watu tunakuja sisi unatuambia fanya hivi fanya hivi mm-hmm. naona na tutafanya kitu mzuri mm. eh, mwenye atasikia sikia mm-hmm. mwenye atasikia Mm-hmm. It's up to them. Mm. Mm. Okay, unajua kumekuwa na that narrative mm. but still tunaona ng'a bado hizo ngoma bado zinaendelea kutolewa. Ngoma bado zinasonga. Yeah. Jo ni ngoma zinabamba watu. Yeah. Tena ukiangalia majority of the people wenye wanasikiza hizi ngoma mm. ukiangalia ni from wasi wa high school mm. paka tuseme ali dati za madati hapo mm. so unaona ase hizi ni vitu ana face kila siku mm. unaona mm. na the moment mtu anasikia kitu ana face inampatia inampatia psycho mm. unaona juu unaambia kila kitu yenye inaendeleanga kwa maisha mm. ya, ya mwanadamu mwenye ako Kenya kwa hiyo ngoma so mm. unaona inabamba mtu tena ngoma zingine unajua ni different kuna ngoma ya kukupatia advice kuna ngoma ya sherehe unaona which we did not have kitambo mm. unaona So ndio maana gengeton unaona kila time inaendelea tu kukua inaendelea tu kukua juu kuna watu wana relate nayo. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it seems like um, some of us we are in a denial. Tunarudi pale tuna watch lakini tunasema bado imeisha kwa sababu we don't want to accept our own thing. Kukubali. Chini ya maji watu wanaona. Unaona? Mm. Lakini watu wanataka kujifanya wasikizange gengeton lakini mtu akienda pale kwake si bado anasikiza. Mm. Kuna haja gani? Hiyo ni hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. Hakuna haja huko unajifanya ati unachukia hizi ngoma na chini ya maji unaenda unasikiza. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Support hao watu waoneshe love, kubali kitu wanafanya na vitu nimesema earlier before. Ambia mtu kama unafanya vibaya juu hata ukiangalia wasani wenye wakosa hii wenye walianza kitambo. Mm. Si unaona si ati alianza wakimba zile atingoma safi safi mm. lakini si walikuja wakaoneshwa njia 
waka waka tu wangu mazeni nzamana mm. mm. so ni hivyo tu watu waambiwe pale wanaenda wrong mm-hmm. step by step step by step okay uh, talking of uh, content mm. pia wasani wa gengeton wenyewe unajua mm. waki, most of them wakianza mm. walikuwa na ile eh ile unity mm. but you'll find that right now unapatanga mm. uh, kumekuwa na separation fulani people seems like they are not together anymore what happens i think ukiangalia mm. me in my own perspective saingine unaweza unaweza pata kuna greed mm. no no mm. greed inaweza ribu vitu saingine unaweza pata za group kuna kitu wewe unataka kufanya mm. na huyu mwingine anataka kufanya na msikizani mm. unaona so eh, kuna kwa na disagreement so unaona here ni part ni wachane na nyinyi mimi nifanye kitu yenye mimi nafurahia unaona juu tukianza unajua tunafanya as a group mnafanya kitu inabamba watu hapa nje mm. unaona lakini sasa saa hii mtu anataka kwenda nje mm. unataka kufanya vitu pia wewe ulikuwa taka individually mm. so unaona mimi kwa unaweza sema ni greed na pia kutaka ku explore mm. mm. okay and what do you think should be done kwa sababu mm. i don't think it's right uh, mm mkianza pamoja mm. then at some point you just separate you know we've seen several artists and you know strong like Saudi Soul you know strong for the longest time bado wanapiga muziki pamoja what do you think inafaa kufanywa if you started as a group mm. uh, instead of separating you try you try unajua waja wa Kenya wakikuwa wakiwakubali mkiwa group fulani they would love to see you together over and over again i think kwa sio nafai kuna the same goals as a team mm mseme tunataka kufanya hivi na tunataka kufanya hivi na muelewane hmm. all of you must come into a conclusion hmm. but the moment i'm kujin to a conclusion hmm. unaona hapo ndio shida inatokea hmm. na pia mtu asikuwe na tamaa usione huyu ati ame watu wana unajua kuna sehemu nyingine mnaweza kuwa na group one huyu anapenda sana aanze kuwa na kauivu ya yeah. mm, unaona mm. usikuwe na hiyo wivu time yako itafika yeah, juu unapotanga no. maybe in a certain group there is someone who is standing out yeah. you know si unaona hata wase hata wa majut kiangalia like the migos unapatanga mm. watu wanasema take off like si mkali ati sana like apati wase wa wa appreciate lakini unapata chini ya maji ni mkali sana mm. unaona so usione ati juu na sifio sifio uone ati uko chini mm. wetu tulia fanya kazi pamoja za group venye mlianza mm-hmm. na mko na the same goals and mm-hmm. si mtakuwa tu sawa. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, eh na pia uh, gosh, mm. unajua tumekuwa tukiona wasanii wa, wa, wa Gengeton, mm. unapata ngoma ya mse ime hii tukiwa kwa Madrid and unasikia kila mahali. Mm. But at some point mm. we don't even know the artist ni nani ni nani ndo mwenye ngoma so mm. me, i feel like uh, is it about branding ama ni wapi panaenda nga wrong? I think ni, ni branding. Mm. Mse pia kuna kuna yani nitakwambiaje. Unafai ku hiyo kitu yako yenye umetoa unafai kujua venye unaitembeza una unaona na venye pia unajibeba. Mm. So kama ni gwash unasema una, unajua yeye yenyewe hii ngoma ni ya gwash. Kuna vitu yani unafai kufanya mm. like ndio uje associate na ngoma yako. Na ikuwe undio mwenye ngoma and everything unaona. But me Mr. Sema sijui I'm I'm not very perfect in yeah. like saying about branding mm. but ni lazima mtu ajue know the meaning of branding mm. jua ni kufanya nini unaona ndio mm. ikuwe watu wanajua hii kazi ni yako si ya mtu mwingine mm. mm. okay mm. and uh, gosh mm. coming back sasa to you mm. as gosh mm. uh, kuna ngoma ya kwanza ya kwanza yenye ilitembea sana yenye tumetaja hapo awali mm. ilikuwa bebe mm. would love to know about that project did you know that itakuwa project yenye watu wataikubali sana sana siko anajua unajua mtu tu hujaribu kitu mm-hmm na unaomba me think kila project naambia Mungu tu ikuwe better than the other one the other one so mimi nikianza nilianza na sponyo mm. first time mimi nikianza nikiingia into this industry mimi nilikuwa nafanya trap music mm-hmm. but i think kufanya trap haiko ina nibamba ati hivyo sana jua iko ina inarudisha ina mm. unaona So, Kurudisha return sawa. Eh yeah, kuna unajipata umeenda show sasa hizo show ati ni 2500 sasa hizo umekuja unaikuwa parking unashinda ukiambiwa ngoja kwanza 
tutakuita tutakuita so shughuli zinaendelea nikawa wetu ni ule wa kuitwa tu uperform eh mm. uende so nikaona venye gengi tu nilitokea mm. venye hizi kwaanza kuimba wimbo akina uchungu na nikasema i think hiki kitu mimi nikopoa pia mm. na hizi vitu juu pia mimi mse wa mtaani mm. i think najua sheng vipoa so mm. i can i can take a shot mm. nione venye itakuwa na zi ndio nikaanza na sponyo nikakuja kwa bebe na bebe tulikam tuka tukapatana na akina vuva mm. akina hitman and kombe tu project but hiyo ni ngome ilikoisha hit ya pale studio mm. tulikuwa tunasikia yenyewe ni ngoma ka kali eh, na sasa tukitoa si watu wakakubali then wa bebe unaona dondata sema wa bebe mm. i think bado ni fresh inatumika kwa shows kama ten over ten unaona so it's something Yaani wasi walikuja wa relate nayo mm. nikakuwa nikitupoa na then mimi nasema anga i think mimi ngoma zenye nafanyanga i try to do ngoma timeless mm. ngoma itaisha mm. i think with wa bebe to me try ku, ku prove what we do yeah that's why we can see even after like two years down the line but the song is trending Nina right now songa sana yeah mm. so mm-hmm. ni ujaribu ku weka ngoma timeless usiweke ngoma tinaisha after one week mm. apio naomba ya project zako ukifanya mm-hmm. mm. okay mm. Uh, and after after that uh, kuna songs pia zingine mwaobu umeko kitoa mm. and you've interacted you've worked with several artists mm. you've seen uh, bulldogs you've seen major you've seen so mm, many artists like wenye yeah uchungulu mm. tumekuwa tukiona watu wengi sana wenye umeweza ku collaborate mm. na wao like wewe what do you look uh, in on an artist so that you can decide who you tunaweza tukafanya kazi i think it's all about the vibes mm-hmm. but as per now nimekuwa nikifanya ngoma for the longest time na kanali yeah sure na kanali na the thing that watu wajuange tumetoka na kanali tango primary Mhm. Tumekuwa na tango primary school. Mm. Tukakaa high school ndio tukapata. Mhm. Cha alienda Midland huko Shago. <laughs> Nilikuwa Nyeria. Mm. So Midland ya Nyeria akakuwa huko Nairobi. Mm. So mimi you know, venye tulimaliza si tukapatana tena. So mm-hmm. the relationship imekuwa strong. Na pia ilikuwa na that thing of music. Music unaona. But sasa ukiangalia mimi nilikuwa nishakuwa mbele yake. Mhm. Aju kama nyinyi marafiki si unashika mwenzako mkono mnasonga pamoja yeah. so hiyo ndio kitu nimekuwa nikifanya mm-hmm. lakini i think watu wajui tumetoka wapi na hewa watu wanaona nika tu tunafanya ngoma but mm. it's kusaidia ndugu yako mm. watu wone, afike pia pale wewe umefika okay mm. so it's something that you're just pushing you're just helping each other mm. ama you're, you've decided you're going to work the two of you tunajengana mm-hmm. tena Akfika akfika hapo juice will know. Mhm. Mm. Okay. Uh, what, what about uh, the experience working with the other artists, especially the big artists in the industry? Imekuwa poor but mimi personally mtu nimefanya sijafanya kazi na artists wakubwa wengi. Yeah, I think major think, uh, major cream de la cream mm. na gabu. Mm ndio watu nimefanya nao ngoma na imekuwa ni experience poor at least unakuja unajua vitu wewe uko unajua mm. eh, mtu anakuambia hivi ndio kunaendanga hivi na hivi jumii nimekuwa nikiduel na young generation mm. like tusonge si wote pamo pamoja eh, usiache mtu nyuma mm. no na unajua shafika mm. so ni mentors so hakuna ati kitu ati mimi kwangu nikiangalia si ati kufanya ukifanya ngoma na mtu mkubwa si kama kufanya ngoma na mtu wako chini wewe already ashafika mm. mtu mwenye wako juu mm. lakini mtu wako chini unajua unamuinua mm. na ni vipo mkinua na nyi wote mm. Mm. so mimi ni all about kusaidiana mm-hmm. eh, tusonge sana na watu mm-hmm. mm. tusonge mbele tusonge mbele mtu asilielie unajua sasa zile ni mtu mmoja ameomoka tena mwingine yako chini mnashinda hapa mkisumbuana yeah. eh, mtu anakuwa burden kwako ili muomoke nyi wote mm. eh, empower your circle yeah. yes and t- talking of empowering mm. uh, unajua for the f- for a while now mm. kumekuwa na hizi complaints especially from artists kumekuwa na challenges more especially financially mm. uh, pia comedian 
clients. I think ni almost everyone in this industry. Mm. Uh, now there was a time I had you talking about it. Mm. Uh, kisema, most of the time we'll find that artists, especially who get on, who have magina, who have views, but mse pale kwa mfuko, bado hayuko vizuri. Unajua pia mtu akipata do. Mm na fe una jua matumizi ya pesa mhm usipate tu pesa upige sherehe ishe yote mm. ni lazima ujue venye una, una, unatumia hiyo pesa hiyo pesa kidogo unaweza unganisha ufanye vitu ama unaweza rudisha mahali mm. ikutolee pesa ingi mm. izaye lakini ukitumia vibaya si utashinda ukilalamika mm. kama sasa hiyo ti pesa kupata shows si ati zinakuja kwa wingi mm. so ukipata pesa kidogo tena umalize si utashinda hapo ukisema ati kuna shida kuna shida na ni wendi unatumia pesa yako vibaya mm. so wendi utajua venye unapanga pesa yako it's all about sacrifice na savings mm-hmm. naona mm-hmm. usiseme ati kuna shida ati ya, shida iko ya pesa lakini ile pesa unapata unaitumiaje mm ni lazima ujue venye unatumia pesa yako. Mhm. Mm. Watu wakwe na my discipline. Na discipline exactly. Mm. Ni lazima mtu akwe na discipline. Mhm. Juu spokuwa nayo hakuna pale utasongo. Ukiangalia watu wenye wako juu wote wako na discipline. Si ati wapata mm. pesa na malize yote hata kama ni kutumia. Ni lazima urudishie mwili shukrani. So pesa yenyewe mm. unapata kidogo unaweza muka ni in 30,000 unatumia hata 1,500. Hiyo nyingine unafaa kitu maana. Mm-hmm. Si kumaliza. Yeah. Mm. Okay, na gosh nikiangalia kwenye YouTube yako na una some of songs umetoa lately mm. na I understand it's an album. Mm. Ebu t- tell us about your album. E, ni nini ilikufanya this time uka feel this is the right time to come up with your album? Mm. Mimi nikiangalia mi mm. haswa mimi sijakuwa nikifanya nikifanya music videos for a while. Mm ju ile fear i think kuna watu wengi kwa sakoli yangu wamepotea kutokana na corona mm. na imekuwa ni time ngumu mm-hmm. so unajipata mimi sitaki association yote na watu mm. kwanza na kama mambo yangu kando mm. but ju nilikuwa nashinda nikienda studio na natoa ngoma hizi mm. ngoma kweli nitazieka tu hapo hautazieka hapo fadhamo tulikuwa tunashinda tukienda na kanali mm. album tulifanya kitambo by january liko imeisha by the time tunasema mwisho wa january liko imeisha mm. na hiyo album mimi nilikuwa nataka kuonesha watu mm. tunaweza flex on different genres mm. na pia ndio the perfect thing ingeonesha kanali pia ni mka mm. ni mkali so tuko na wacha tuitoe ndio muone uzito yetu usione tu ati tunafanya tu ati genge tu tunaweza fanya ngoma za different me diverse yeah, me diverse okay kwa hiyo yeah. album you fi, mm. umefanya tu na kanali ama you featured yeah. other artists yeah tuko na ngoma moja tuliongezea hapo tulifanya na major mm-hmm. mm, but okay. the album ni mimi na kanali Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, that's so nice. Mm. And uh unajua kuna mafans pengine wanashangaa mm. hii hey, album kwa ni kwa wapi kwa sababu wakiingia pale YouTube wanapata wanapata just uh, some songs mm, sawa party zote. Tu. Yeah. I think ukitakuwa na hiyo album kwa YouTube nimeweka tu ngoma kadha. Mm-hmm. Kama tatu. Mm-hmm. I think hata ni tatu. Yeah, ni tatu. Then ukitakuwa na hiyo album iko on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Ukitakuwa kuisikiza and hizo platforms zingine za Boom Play, Spotify, kila mahali mm-hmm. iko. Okay. So kama ukienda pale kwa YouTube hautaona but ngoma ziko kila mahali. So ukitakuisikia tafuta platforms hizo zingine. Okay, mm. any fame as kunajua lately tumekuwa tukiona wasanii sana sana mm. wakifanya albums zina kwa exclusively maybe kwa other platforms apart from YouTube sana mm. sana on Boomplay. Mm. Uh, what's the idea yenye imekuwa ikifanya wasanii you releasing the albums exclusively on the other platforms? Sasa so, hiyo ni, ni idea ya mtu venye amefikiria unaona kila mm-hmm. mtu kuna venye ya amepanga mambo yake so kama umefikiria ku ikuwe kwa bumple mm-hmm. it's up to you hiyo ni decision ya mtu haswa mm-hmm. mm. okay mm. and gosh mm. there was a time uh, uli tulia kidogo kasema mm. una you going back to school mm. eh ukaachana na muziki kidogo you know it's taking risk kwa sababu muziki unaweza enda ukirudi unapata kumbe mambo ili, ili change How was that period? Mambo you change. Mm. Lakini mimi nilisema masomo lazima. Mhm. Masomo lazima. 
jo i think ukikuwa na ni vipo uko hata na hizo karatasi hata kasi hiyo kitu utafanya juu inaweza kufungulia pale pengine unaona mm. sasa hii unajua watu wengi mm. walikuwa wameanza shule wakaacha kweli na hizi zinaletwa na vitu kama fimu mm. na kuona umeanza kupata pesa kidogo mm. ni vipo kukuwa na knowledge mm. usiachane usi na, na shule na sasa una support hiyo na mzazi si ati umeshindwa mm. kama umeshindwa hiyo ni kitu kingine lakini kama unaweza someshwa mm. wewe soma umalize shule mm. ukwe na hizo makaratasi zitakufungulia njia nyingine juu sasa kama saa hii mm. kama vile muziki imekuwa iko iko chini mm. chini yeah. Una, unaona unaweza fanya kitu kingine hizo pepa na hizo yeah. pepa mm. so ni vipo watu wasome na pia i think venye umeuliza ilikuwa tu ni, ni sacrifice kubwa juju na zarudi mambo ikuwa wapi mhm mm unaona hata saa hii unapata ni lazima utoe uto vitu sana so that ya yeah. mhm ndio watu wajue your back eh yeah, your back mhm mm na sisi atu mimi si kama ati nilifanya a bad decision mm -hmm. nilifanya kitu poa mhm mm juu niko niko we better than watu wengi. Mhm. Mm Naona nikiye kwa hapa mimi na mtu mwenye uko na makaratasi si unaona mimi niko mbele kuliko mtu ana makaratasi. Mm -hmm. So sikufanya kitu mbaya nilifanya kitu poa na muziki zinaendelea kukuja muziki si ati tume, tume talent iko milele talent iko anywhere. Mm. But you've seen uh, several artists who try to to in itangwa je who try to multitask between school and music. For you will you feel like itakuwa ngumu ama Oh, ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa ngumu nilikuwa nimejaribu sana mm. Mm. unajipata sasa so, uko na show kama Thursday Friday uko na class asubuhi mm. ai na sasa hizo umeshinda huko the whole night nje so, unaweza mesapa actually with, yeah, your, okay. ment, with your mental health pia kweli unaenda class kulala mm. kuna haja gani si umaliza ni tu na hiki kitu tena urudi kwa mziki mm -hmm. ah. wow that's so nice mm. ah tukimalizia gosh mm. ningependa uongeleshe ma fans wako mm. and pia you remind them about the album so that they can get the music on all platforms mimi kwenye naweza waambia hapo ma fans kwanza na washukuru sana mmekuwa na mimi Eh kuna wasi wanauliza anga kweli gwasha aliacha kuimba. Mshajua mm. reason. Mimi nilikuwa nimeenda shule na nimemaliza. So sasa hii Kenya nafanya ni mziki. Ni back to back. Eh ni mziki na kuja kukuja. So kuna album pia nime drop inaitwa Fat Boys ni mimi na Kanali. So muende muicheki. Mm -hmm. Eh na muendelee ku show love. Okay. Kuna ngoma inatokea mbaya sana. Okay. Mm. And before to funge, mm. mbona album kama itwe Fat Boys? Unajua mm. jina Fati yenyewe. <laughs> Mimi yenyewe mimi si tukaangia ati kuonekana ati mimi ni big. I know but fat unajua watu wanasema anga hata hii niwaambia mtu ni thick bali wanamwambia ni fat you know. Sasa mimi si hezi kuwa thick thick ni amani. Thick ni amani ya boy ni fat. Acha mimi ni to fat unaona. Hapana fat a fat si ya binadamu. I think mimi si nanga shida na kujita kujita fat si ati siendangi mwili ndio imesema tu inone si ati spigangi tizi. I know the same way when watu wengine husema sisi wetu wakone we don't eat imagine yeah. we eat <laughs> anakula kwanza watu wanakula sana hata go to I know eh yeah, so uh. usi usione ati mtu ati ni mnono ama ni mkonde udhani ati kuna vitu wafanyi anafanya kila kitu watu wanafanya kila kitu then ukiangalia pia kanali ni big mm si mdogo so, si mdogo <laughs> so venye tulijita fat boys to list case the best tulikuwa tumeangalia couple of names mm. Kona hiyo tu imeingia na na sisi. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that's so nice. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, gosh, tungependa mm. utuambie your social media handles, you know. Maybe kuna msee mwenye ajwangi. Unajua siku hizi hadi swedo there are so many. Mtu ajwangi the exact account ya msani. Ni kweli. Yeah. Pale IG na jita gosh G W W L underscore S H. Mm -hmm. Tena pale Twitter na jita gosh at Martin George. Mm. Uh, 226 mm -hmm. tena tuende pale youtube ni gwash i think hizo platforms zingine tu ni gwash gwash mm. uh, so kita kunitapata niko pale nishase mama jina zangu mhm mm mm -hmm. umesema kitu kali na kwa mtu unaingoja sana kitu kali mbaya sana uh -huh. 
Kwa hivyo mngoje tu hata next week isha drop. Eh, eh next, next week. week isha drop. Ah, kwa hivyo nafaa fike pale kwanza kwa subscribe button on notification bells. Tufike pale 100. Kini. Yeah, yeah, by the time ina drop kila mtu atakuwa anajua eh. Hata kwa korada. Kwa korada msione niliacha kuimba. Mm. Tuna come na ubaya. Ka- na tujaisha. Mm. Si ni wale wa. You here to stay. You are here to stay. <laughs> Kabisa. Ah. ah okay guys, it has been the Mungai Eve show tumekuwa na Gwash is the baddest baddest uh gangeton artist na umesikia kwenye amekuwa kuna watu watu wamekuwa wakimuuliza kwani aliacha kuimba. Amesema aliamua kwanza amalize na masomo. Muhimu. Eh, SPD yenye masomo na muziki ilikuwa inampeleka ilikuwa sipo ah. Tehuti. Yeah, and guys <laughs> kindly if you haven't subscribed to his channel the link is down below click that link you subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that next week aki drop yo kitu moto utakuwa wa kwanza kuipata also guys remember to subscribe to my channel road to 300k subscribers tufike tufike tutafika. ni lazima <laughs> yeah tutafika and guys we meet in the next video